what's up guys so welcome back to the next video um yeah we're gonna do a little something man we're gonna get out here and we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna gut the insides because i want to replace the carpet and i, I want to replace it back to a little bit of original that means the back seat well the back was like a little storage area like and i had to buy a new piece which is not new it was used, couldn't find a new piece. And I'm going to do a little wiring because we need to be able to make this top, the piece to uh, come up. To, to, I mean, should I say to, it comes up and it unlocks. So we need to be able to do that. So, and we've got to do another top. You guys will see why here in a few minutes. So let me get this stuff, let me get it off. Then I'm going to bring y'all out. <clears throat> All right, y'all, so let me let y'all take a look here. Now, the top looks good, but I cut it a little short in the back, which I didn't show you guys, but I'll show you guys here in a minute when I go to uh, actually have to put this piece inside of the thing. So let me put you right there. Uh-oh, you about to fall backwards. And I don't want you to do that. I think I need to find you guys a spot here. Let me can I put y'all right there. Can y'all see something right there? Y'all can see a little bit. All right. So these are the wires right here that we need to use to make that thing work. And if you can see right here, there's a piece that's on top here. Hold on. Right. You see right there? But the piece goes down there and uh, we need to... Uh, be able to make that move up and down. So, first thing first we gotta do, we gotta get all this stuff out of here. Everything that's in here has to come out. So, let me get to that. And uh, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna put y'all in time lapse oh, so we can see what's going on and then, uh. We will get down to business. Let me make sure that this thing here is clean. There we go. So. Right quick. This is our push buttons that we're gonna use. We gotta do a little more fabricating to it, but it's gonna go right here in the middle. Right there. Same place I got my little plug at for my for my screen for my computer. So the ECU should I say for those who know what I'm talking about. Alright, so let's get we're gonna get this old carpet out, get this out, the center dash out. I think I'm gonna do my radio, put a radio in here too as well. And get this this crap out of here. We're going back to 
or what originally goes in here. We're gonna get this out. Alright guys, so <clears throat> y'all see this? So this is the brace that I put in. This right here. To help raise it up a little bit. We got an ant right there. Your ass is dead, buddy. So yeah, that. Same over there. I think I'm gonna take these braces out and see if we can lower this a little more. As you can see, water been getting in here. So we're gonna clean all this stuff up and we're gonna add some damn sound deadener in here. As you can see, we got speaker wires in here. We got an amp. This crap is coming out next. Yes, sir. It's coming out. Yep. So. I got up under here. Y'all gonna be like, yeah, buddy, that needed to come out. So Look at all the stuff I got up under here that I didn't do nothing with. <clears throat> well, we up under here now, so we gotta get all this shit here cleaned up. But understand this, there's nothing live in here. So no live wires whatsoever, so it's all good. So uh let me go find my piece that needs to go right here. And we're gonna find out which wire is gonna come up. So that, uh, cause we can push the top down in there and it locks down. But when we push the button, we want this thing to rise up. Also, when we push another button, we want this thing here to unlock. Right now, only thing we got to unlock it is this manual pull here. And I don't want to do that. Because actually, let me show you guys something. <clears throat> Look at all that stuff there. Actually, this is where it goes, but for some reason it's not working. It's right here. This is where it goes. For some reason, this crap is not working and it don't want to act right. So we're gonna close all this up, push it back down in there and leave it alone. And uh we're gonna go direct wiring on this thing. Alright, so let me get my uh stuff to uh check this and then uh we're gonna find out what's what. 
all right guys so we're going to make this quick because the power in this thing is going down fast so i got my jumper box right there that we're going to use to do this uh test right quick and here's my piece that i had to order to get see this piece can go down in there just like that all right now These two wires is what makes it go up and down. Now, you hook it up one way, it goes up. You hook it up a different way, it goes down. So, um, we're gonna see which way it goes to bring this thing up. Cause I haven't been in here for a while, so everything is kinda crazy right now. Okay, so that took it down. So that means that this here is for up. Okay, you guys watching? Don't be looking at me. Look at this shit, man. Look at this thing right here. All right. See how it comes up? All right. So let's push it down again. Which goes right there. You don't want to push it down all the way because like I just did because it's, it'll get stuck. See how it come up? That's the way it works. Yeah. With it being screwed in, it'll just bring the top straight up. Just like that. Alright, so I'm going to mark these. All right, so that's positive. This is negative. All right. So we're working right there. So we're good for that. So, so what I'm going to do now is that it's getting dark out here. Well, not dark, but it's getting late. I got work tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to get back to this tomorrow. I'm going to get this thing some time to charge because it's at like 27%. And this is the old GoPro, the GoPro 11. I don't know what's wrong with it, man. That damn thing is just about damn stupid. So, and I'm about stupid for buying it. So, go figure. All right. So, when we get back to it, man, we're gonna start figuring this thing here out, and we're gonna figure, start cleaning up this damn interior, these wires and everything else, and get this thing back together. Oh, I gotta order the carpet. That's right. I gotta order the carpet. And I'm gonna take that door panel off because that door, um, that window is not coming up correct. That's why it's getting wet on the inside. But, and we're gonna do the top, but we're not gonna do the, all that in this video. So, but we're gonna get this thing here working in this video. And I'm gonna try to square away some of this interior. All right, so we're gonna catch y'all back here in a few seconds. What's up, BSG? So, it's been a couple of days, man. Shit, probably about a week now. Man, I got a cold. I'm dying. As a matter of fact, let me, uh, cause I've been overdosing on these cough drops. Well, let me deal with that right there. Now, and it's cool today too. So, right now, I'm just trying to wait for that sun to come up so that we can uh, get out there and get hot on this damn um, McLaren so that we can get this, uh, this trunk pop going and the, and the convertible top, uh, working like I need it to work. Now, what we got here is, I'm sorry, we're going to use this here instead of this, uh, solid, uh, state relay. It's Holly MSD stuff going on here so we're going to use this to help us with that top now the way i understand this is battery go here which is i already got the cable i already got the uh, the wire for it it's going to go straight to the battery from here and then we do our connections here if i'm mistaken i'm probably wrong <clears throat> i probably got to go over 
some instructions again. But there's two main things <clears throat> that you have to do first before any of this here is going to work that I know for sure. <clears throat> I'm sorry. And that is you got to go battery here and it says it right there. So it's very easy. Hope you can see that. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me see if we can get you some juicy juice here. Hold on now. Come on now. There. So you can see it says battery right there. And that middle one right there says battery. And then right here, this little one is a ground. No matter how you hook this up, because you can hook this up as a negative power and as a positive power. But no matter how you hook it up, you got to hook that little ground up. That got to be grounded. So once the temp come up a little bit, man, because it's like 60 degrees right now, that's too cold for me. And I got a cold um, and um, and they got a lot of lawnmowers going on right now. So once that stuff uh, clears up, then we're going to get out there, man, and um, and we're going to get busy on that. I got to get this done today, man, because I got to drop this, uh, this uh, video here for you guys tomorrow. All right. Um, yeah, I've been sick, man, so it's been slow moving for me. So we're going to catch y'all in a few minutes. All right, guys, so this is my third time doing this, this uh, take. Now, I cut these wires here because I want to get rid of this. This don't make no sense to me. I'm not going to be using it anymore. So, And uh, I don't care about on this part being original because uh, I've got other things that's not original, but this here would never be seen. So with all that being said, we're going to solder these wires here to the new wires that I'm going to use. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm going to run them through this here material so everything looks nice and neat. And then uh, we're going to get on to putting that uh, MSD in, uh, solid state uh, relay in and then uh, We'll get to hooking up the switches. So let me do that. And uh, when I get through soldering, I'm going to bring y'all back. All right, guys. So we got everything soldered. Uh, my three wires that I need to deal with. Hopefully I can get it through this piece here because this thing be acting up sometimes. I wonder should I tape this together. But we're going to try it here. See right quick what we can do. Come on, baby, keep going. Oh, boy. Keep going, you rascal. Let's see here. Pull you down like this. Hopefully I can get this thing all the way through. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. You done let me figure it out now. I done figured out how to get it through here real quick. Uh-huh. <coughs> yeah, I don't see the sun that came up now. And uh yeah. It's getting a little toasty. But it only supposed to get up to 70 today, so. This is good working weather right here, man. Hopefully I can get over this doggone cold. Come on, man. We are we are way too far from the bottom here. We still got all of this to go. Need to go buy me some zip ties to really finish this whole thing up like I want it. And I need some damn, uh, some pieces. Really need some ends like these here. Just like these. Uh, let's see what we got going here. This man backing up in this Mercedes van. Uh, he went back the other way. I'm gonna say what he won't. 
if somebody want to be nosy. A lot of folks ain't never seen a hood pop up like this and it's not the trunk. Yeah, had a guy yesterday, not yesterday, but the other day when I was videoing and in between me, uh, should I say intermission, uh, he came over here while y'all while y'all was out taking a smoke break. He came over here and uh, I had a car running because I've been having the doors open and stuff like that, so we don't mess up the battery. Cause these batteries ain't cheap. And uh, he was saying it sound good. I said, man, I wish it ran a little better, but we getting there. I don't know if I told y'all this before. People suck. Yeah, they suck, man. Wish I had more actual people that do deal with nothing but Mustangs or more around me. It's more of a, a, a GM type of thing around here. But, I mean, yeah. Just people, man, just suck, man. That's all I can really say, man. They fucking suck. <laughs> all right, so there we go. So now I'm gonna cut this a little bit. Um, I want to zip tie this, then zip tie it over here to keep it away from this lock. <laughs> and we need to take this thing down up under here, bring it down here, and come through here. But. <clears throat> Oh shit, I don't think y'all can see that. Wouldn't be hurting. My face would be all right. And we're kind of crooked. There we go. So, we're gonna put our, our solid state relay right here. We're gonna put it in here like this. But we need to get uh, some, um, what can I say? Some, uh, get a drill bit. And get some, um, um, what are these things called? I can't think of what they're called right now, but these things right here. We're going to use these. Yep. That's what we're going to do. We're going to use those. So let me find me a drill bit and a drill. So as you guys seen in that last little build deal there, <clears throat> I was screwing these in. Well, <clears throat> the issue is, is that this thing here, as I was putting the, uh, the nut insert in, it was pulling straight through. So I then called it a day and just went on and used the, the uh, hardware that was uh, provided with the kit. Now. Let me go down here if you guys so you guys can see a little better. As you can see right here, this is your this upper side up here. This is positive, the lower is negative. And you got one, two, three, four channels that we can work for switches here. This is for switches, and this here is to, to run straight to the uh, to whatever accessory that you're doing. So for me, I need to run run the wire from my from my um, little switches straight to here so I'm going to use the positive side even though I still got a ground excuse me and I got to figure out how I'm gonna do this here uh, so I got my power wire already ran it that way so let's see here we got this thing here Let 
you to come down here. And, no, I think I'm going to go all the way over here. And then just come up to that right there like that. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me make sure I leave enough slack in here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to do it like that. All right, so let me go get a screwdriver. <clears throat> now this is not live yet because I ain't hooked it up to the battery. I got it ran to the up towards the battery, but we ain't did nothing with it yet. Got a little ways up in there. So let's peel this thing back here a little more. Cause I want as much as I can get in there to be in there. Uh, a little more than that right there. That will work. You never can go too deep in there, you know what I mean? At least that's what I heard. Mm -hmm. Alright, now, let me push this back up in here some more because I don't really like wires hanging out too much down in there. You know what I mean? There. Okay, bam. Okay, we out of here with this. Go just over there with the rest of that crap I got over there. <clears throat> now, I need to get a smaller screwdriver so we can run us aground. And while I'm here, let me unloosen this right here. We are going the wrong way. There we go. Now, need to find us some, some wires in here. The hook for this ground. We'll go with that right there. Let me look over there. No, nope, that one's still there. So, bam. So, what I really need to do, I need to get this here thing. My group of wires here. Ran down here. Yep. Mm-hmm. We're going to raise this up a little bit, y'all. Go raise this up a little bit. See if we can bring the roof up. Roof is up. So, don't want y'all to forget. I gotta go get some zip ties. So, but that could be later. You know, I want to get this thing running. Well, working. Should I say? Now, I got a cover back here. Got this cover here. That's in here. <clears throat> That's for the, the uh, top to sit down in. We're going to run these wires back here behind it. Down there. Yeah, we're going to run it down here. I can't believe this. They still got everything back here to put a convertible, to, to put the, the seat back in here. But I just don't know how it would work if, if I was ever to say, okay, forget this. I won't put seats back here. But um, <clears throat> it'd be the backrest part that I will have to figure out. But, I mean, that shouldn't be hard neither. But I'm not doing that. So it doesn't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter.
my gosh, let's be realistic here. Doesn't this look better here? This here looks better than it did before. I got all those wires out of here. It looks a whole lot better, a whole lot cleaner. Yeah, that's what I'm going after. I'm going after better and cleaner. Yes, sir. We're going after better and cleaner. Uh, let's put that wire there back there. All the way back there like that. Keep it from down with stuff. Okay, bam, there we go. So that should be able to operate in a good environment right there. We got to worry about nothing getting caught or nothing. And we get this here, just like that over here, this way, and uh, we'll be good. Bam, just like that. Yep. <clears throat> All right. We're going to let this back down now because we got business to tend to back there. We didn't got what we needed. So let's put y'all back down here. Now, we got these wires here. Uh, it's gonna sit down in here. I'm gonna bring them through the middle here because I want, I got a, I got a storage compartment on this side, a storage compartment on this side. But these wires can sit right here in the middle. They don't have to worry about nothing. They go down back there in the back with the top sitting back there with no issues. So now, since we got all of this here, okay. So now, ah, I need to do some a little bit more research. Now, one thing I do know is that I need to pull the black wire out of here. Okay, yeah, pull the black wire out and connect it to the ground, as well as making this here ground, running that back, so I'm gonna need wire. So let me do a little snip snip into this piece here. All right, so we got that in there like that. And I'm not gonna do anything to it yet, because I wanna put some, some shrinky shrink on there. Oh boy. I think Robel is going ham over there at my aunt's house. What's going on guys? So we kinda got it done and we kinda didn't. What I gotta, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit it right here for two reasons, and one of the reasons it's gonna cost a little bit of money. Now, um, I got it working. Let me see if you can hear it. And here go the door, the hatch pop. So we got that working. Um. The issue is, is that, uh, let me throw this piece here back over here so we can use it while we do this thing here. Let me bring you up here. <clears throat> Make sure you can see what we're doing. All right. All right, so you see this piece right here. Let me raise you up a little bit. See this piece right here. So, what it's supposed to do is, as you push it like that, it comes up. It's not a problem. You're supposed to be able to push it all the way down like that. And check this. They're supposed to put pressure on, they're supposed to push up. So, <clears throat> what I've learned is that this piece is damn stripped. And from what I understand is that from the Cadillac, I can't remember what year, I think in the 80s, they had a push-up trunk. 
this piece is is that piece. Or I can go back to <coughs> the McLaren guy. He wants three hundred some dollars for that piece. Plus, he wants mine. I'm not ready to, to actually do that yet. So, damn it, flies. It gets warm. Flies just start popping out again. Jesus Christ. But anyway, I'm going to end this video right here. We got our piece to work like we wanted to, and we got this, this uh, hatch to pop. As a matter of fact, it's up because it popped. So, we need to, uh, we're going to call it right there, and we're going to revisit this again once, once I get this piece. Um, I got to check with a couple other McLaren dudes. Check the um, the the page the web page and see if anybody got any ideas of how this here can be dealt with. Um, this sucks. Oh, and my second reason is my doggone screws here are damn stripped. <laughs> so I can fix that. I'm not worried about that. I can re-thread that. But it's just a uh, problem after problem after problem after damn problem. So I got a cold. <coughs> and um, I ain't feeling so well today. So I'm going to call it right here, man. I'm going to clean it up, man. Call it right here so I can get you guys a video. And uh, yeah. Once I get this piece, we'll, uh, that'll be part two. And, um, yeah. It's just a bad one, y'all. It's just a bad one. <laughs>